All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to wash these seeds real quick. We're gonna do a couple basil and lavender. Um, I'm gonna show you with one of them first, so I'll just do this lavender, but it's gonna be the same for all types of seeds. Um, you just have to take your time with the basil. They have that gelatinous coating, so you just have to go a little slow when scooping up the seeds. But to start off with, I, I was soaking these seeds actually for about six hours so they can hydrate. You can see they've all sunk. For the most part, they've sunk to the bottom, showing that they are um, hydrated in order to germinate in tissue culture. Basil is a very easy to germinate in tissue culture from seed, um, and lavender is pretty easy as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is rinse off all this water that we've been soaking for about the six hours. It has a lot of bacteria and spores inside of it from mold. So we're gonna dump that out and then rinse this with isopropyl alcohol, 70% for about 30 seconds to a minute, dump that out. And then we're gonna add bleach, 20 minutes, 10% bleach, and then rinse that out with water and then put them on some Petri dishes to germinate. So first, turn on the water, not too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and dump them out. So I dump like that and then hold it. That way I can just kind of keep rinsing without losing any of my seeds. So um, if I do, I'll scoop like this just to get them all together. Once they're all together, it's kind of not like that. All right. Then I'm gonna spray my isopropyl alcohol in there to surface sterilize these seeds. Just giving them a swirl. Just want to wash off any bacteria or something that might be on there. it now it's ready for the bleach step obviously i'm moving a little bit quicker and i have a lot of seeds so it's not as big of a deal for me to make sure i don't lose any but if you just move slowly you won't lose any and you can always pick them up off the counter and re-rinse them again um, but that's just what you do for these type of seeds again like the basil you're going to do the same thing might have to shake it a little bit since those seeds are so dense. But it's going to be the exact same thing. So after I finish washing all of these seeds and rinse them with alcohol, I'll get back and we'll put them on Petri dishes. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and add this bleach. You can see for the basil seed, sometimes there's a little bit, a little extra. That's okay. And again, these are gonna be in here for about 20 minutes. The last one will probably be about 25 minutes because it just takes time to clean. Here we go. That's 10% bleach with about half a drop of dish soap. Now we're going to go ahead and close these up. If you have a shaker, go ahead and put these on a shaker now for that 20 minutes. If you don't, shake them every five minutes and you'll be fine too. So fast forward and let's go induct these on plates. All right, so we're back over here and we are going to rinse. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little strainer. And then we're gonna dump all that little sweet 
Italian basil there and start the rinsing process. Again, with the basil, it can be a little hard because they have that gelatinous coating. So, kind of just gently do this. And then as you can see, I already labeled all of the drape. And I'm just gonna flip it in that section just so I can keep track. Boop, looks like that O-ring came right off. It's okay. Okay. You should give it a really good rinse. If you have lots of sterile water, don't be afraid. Just cleaning off my strainer. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, fresh and clean, ready for the next one. This is the holy basil. Oops. So again, let's rinse off all that bleach. This one was actually a lot easier to just kind of fill and rinse. Let that settle. Sorry, I'm like looking at the camera. That's why I'm spilling so much but let me just focus on what I'm doing. There we go, that's how you wanna do it. So nice, good three rinses. Let that go down there. Might lose a seat or two, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that out to dry. All right, one more. Honestly, you guys will know if you ever do these basil seeds, it sucks because that that little gelatin, and a lot of seeds have that, it's annoying to work with because you can't strain your seeds out as well. Put that there. Another one. Try to do the same thing where we just strain this top off. Perfect. Try and do this about three times. Obviously, if you don't have that many seeds, you can be more careful. If I ever were to do this basil again, I'd probably, I mean, I just did the whole packet just to make it easy, um, but I would probably only do, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 seeds max, instead of like 50 to 100. That way it didn't clog the strainer. But guess what, it's okay. Make it work. And I let these sanitize a little extra long about mm, 25 minutes, I'd say. So, they should be good. All right. All right, and now this last one is gonna be super easy. 
the lavender, it does not have that mucilage coating. There we go. We're gonna have to get a new strainer. All right. They say that seeds that float anyways aren't the best for germination, so it's okay if we lose a couple. Plus, I've done these plants in tissue culture. They're very vigorous growth. Honestly, we really only need one seed, and we're gonna get about a thousand plants, so. You will see, it'll start small, but grow fast. Luckily the lavender seeds look distinctly different, so it's not going to go exactly in number. Come on. We're actually going to go over here. And luckily I have this video to reference, so if I was confused, but again, the seeds are distinctly different. Alright, let's go ahead and start. So. Petri dishes here. At the end of this video, slash, it'll be in a different video on my Patreon, I'll give you guys the media recipe that I'm using for all of these as well. So feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. If you're on YouTube, you can watch my techniques. Um, and then the media, gotta join the Patreon for. Or read. So. Let me get my tools. I'm putting them inside my tool sterilizer. I'm gonna use about three plates per thing. So we got four here, so we're gonna use about 12 plates. I got some more over there. Um, I'm gonna use plates. I'll probably have to subculture after two to three weeks because they're gonna outgrow them super fast. Um, and then they'll move to containers. So for seeds, uh, ventilation isn't that important. So it really doesn't matter what vessel you're using. Um, you really, you kind of want a higher humidity setting. All right, let's start with this Italian basil. they were going to come off a little bit easier. So let me scoop a lot. Okay. It's okay if they're close to each other. We just don't want them to be too close in case there's contamination. We can go back in here and pull out the seeds that we need to. Right, we just want to make sure that they are getting contact with the media. It's okay to even kind of mash it up. could use a needle point um, forcep for this. You could actually use uh, needles, sterile gauge needles. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another tool to help facilitate these seeds coming off so that they can go onto the media. Just cool 
pulling my tools down. Put it in there. This drape is actually sterile. So you can sterilize tissue or um, paper towels and have them ready so that you can dry your seedlings and also you can use it as a coating. This is actually a sterile drape you can buy on Amazon. There's a plastic coating in between it to help that there's no contact with the table even when it rips like this. So there's another coating still there. And that just helps with certain seed types. We don't wanna add it if we don't have to. But this is gonna be the plate that has it. <laughs> These seeds you should put in the dark for about three days. And then even if they don't germinate, go ahead and move them to a light cycle. I keep all my plants around an 18-6 light cycle to optimize its growing time. And these will sprout in about seven days to, depending on the other varieties, up to three weeks, they will start to germinate. So we're gonna add this in here. So we're only gonna do three plates. So you just add what I want to and everybody else is a sacrifice to the tissue culture gods sometimes. You sacrifice the tissue. You do what you gotta do. All right, I am gonna go ahead and <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my tools, and then I'm gonna do the lavender induction. Um, that way, you can see me work a little bit quicker and a little bit more organized. Just I'm gonna have to take my time with these basil seeds. So I'm just sterilizing my tools. Do, 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 do. Sweet. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my lavender seeds now on here. Make sure my tool is cool. A little hot, it's okay. Cool it down. All right, so. Do what I normally do. Where I get the agar on my tool. Just to start slowly separating these seedlings. You can tell without all that mucilage, I can actually pick up a couple seedlings and spread them out appropriately. This is a great way to do germination tests as well. If you're a gardener and you wanna see how good your seeds are, you can go ahead and put a certain amount of seeds down and then score your results. look like so put those together but make sure you label and you know but I'm gonna go ahead and 
do that after I'm on camera. But I'm just spacing these out and then I'm going to tape them with micropore tape. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Right when I finish up these lavenders, I'm gonna go ahead and tape them up. And then we're done. And then like I said, you can put them in the dark for a couple days and then move them into a light cycle. You always want the seeds to be kind of half in the media, half out of the media if they're big enough. Um, if they're really tiny, just spread them across, but you don't want to bury them or the lack of oxygen will prevent them from growing sometimes um, and uh, it'll actually kill them. So it's best to just leave them on the top if you're not sure. And if so, you can just put them half in, half out. So I like to always kind of score my plates so that they kind of get stuck in the grooves. And remember, any seed could grow. That's the whole point of tissue culture. If there's an embryo there, it should be able to germinate on this media and grow just fine. Perfect. All right, let me show you what I do now. As I take some micropore tape, A new roll and I'm gonna go ahead and seal these petri dishes. You could also use parafilm, you could use plastic shrink wrap, whatever works best for you that keeps your plates sterile. This works best for me. I also kind of pinch the plate a little bit to help really keep that lid down, making it super secure so that no contamination can enter. I'll label this was number six, the Italian basil, and number nine, which was the lavender. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do these other basils, and it'll all be the same process. So let me know if you have any questions, and we'll do our next seed set here soon.